Hi, I'm David Taylor, and I am a self-taught quilter. I started quilting in 1999 on my home machine, and a few years after that, I was convinced to switch to a Sweet 16 by Handy Quilter. So I now quilt on a mid-arm machine. What I like about my mid-arm machine is that I'm sitting down at the machine, at a table, just like I was on my home machine. So the switch was pretty easy. But what I want to talk to you about today is how to get started, because a lot of people are afraid to get started because I don't know, there's nothing to be afraid of with the Sweet 16. To get started, I want you to make up a few sandwiches. This is what I do before any project. Usually, I will take the same backing fabric that I'm using in my quilt, the same batting that I always use, and, my t and a piece of fabric that I used in the top. And you just make up some, some sandwiches that you can use as scrap because you've got to practice before you move over to your real quilt. And if you're new to quilting at all, I really want you to make up some sandwiches from scrap fabrics and just play on your machine. The sandwich that I'm using in this demo has just got basic black fabric and some batting in between. What I love about my Handy Quilter Sweet 16 and the size of the table is if I'm working on a project that's only this size, I don't need to do any basting on it because I'm working on a nice flat surface. If I was working on my home machine and it only has that little neck space, then I'm going to want to baste these layers together. I like to pin baste, and I do that with little, the curved basting pins. And so I want to, to pin these layers together, oh, about every three to four inches. Because I'm on the Sweet 16, if I still wanted to pin baste, I could probably go, oh, about every five to six inches because my quilt is laying flat on the table and I'm not always picking it up and re-rolling it and stuffing it in that little hole on the home machine. When I teach machine quilting in my classes, I always liken it to learning to drive a car because the principles are the same. You've got a gas pedal, which is your foot pedal under your machine, and you've got your steering wheel. In this case, your fabric's going to be your steering wheel. When you learn to drive, you don't just get in your car and head on down the highway. It's small steps, and that's what I'm going to show you in the few small steps that I have here. 